In a surprising turn of events, Matt Gates, the Florida Republican representative, has been hit with a subpoena like a ton of bricks. This subpoena demands his participation in a deposition for a civil lawsuit that revolves around some rather scandalous allegations. It is claimed that Gates had some intimate encounters with a 17-year-old girl, which is definitely not the kind of thing you want on your resume. The subpoena was issued by lawyers representing the now-grown woman, who was once the center of a Department of Justice investigation. This investigation spans several years and aimed to uncover whether Gates engaged in any inappropriate activities with her when she was still a minor. Talk about a legal roller coaster. To make matters even more interesting, this deposition is just a small part of a larger lawsuit filed by Chris Dorworth, a friend of Gates and a former Florida House member and lobbyist. It seems like Gates' circle of friends is quite the colorful bunch. During the deposition, Gates will have to answer some uncomfortable questions about the alleged sexual activity, all while under oath. Talk about a high-pressure situation. This latest development only adds fuel to the fire of scrutiny surrounding Gates. It's safe to say that he's facing some serious legal challenges, and it's going to be quite the spectacle to see how it all unfolds. Stay tuned, folks. Bit of breaking news now, allegations of paying for sex with the text messages to back it up. We have new details now tied to that Congressional House ethics investigation into Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates. ABC has now learned that Gates has been subpoenaed amid those allegations that he may have had sexual content with a minor. But this is part of a civil suit. Our investigative correspondent, Olivia Rubin, joins me now for more. What are you learning, Olivia? Kira, a remarkable development, as you just said. Congressman Matt Gates, sources telling ABC News, has now been subpoenaed as part of ongoing civil litigation that is underway in the state of Florida. And remember, Kira, this all relates to allegations that have ensnared Congressman Matt Gates for years that he had sexual relations with a woman when she was a minor. And remember, Congressman Matt Gates was the subject of a Department of Justice probe because of those allegations allegations and ultimately no charges were brought. He has long denied that he had any such sexual relations. He has even said that the alleged minor did not exist. But now, according to this remarkable reporting from our investigative reporter, Will Staken, fast forward years later, the woman who was then a minor is now in her 20s, and she has issued this subpoena to Congressman Matt Gates. And again, part of an, un, an ongoing civil litigation in Florida that was brought by sort of a, a longtime friend of Matt Gates. But what's really key here, Kira, is that because of this subpoena, which is calling for a April 5th deposition, Congressman Matt Gates could now have to go under oath under the penalty of perjury and speak to these allegations that he had sexual relations with a minor, which again, cannot emphasize enough, have plagued him for years, Kira. So really remarkable reporting. Again, another shout out to Will Staken for breaking this here today. Right, because we had we had followed the, the ethics committee and, and this mm -hmm. investigation, it, it sort of went away for a bit of time. So um, how is this going to, I guess, uh, rev it back up again, or did it really never stop? Well, you'll remember that ABC News and Will Steakin reported that the Department of Justice did not bring any charges because of these allegations, although they did have an investigation into it. But what is going on is that the House Ethics Committee up on Capitol Hill has now been probing these allegations on their own yet again. And it involves a lot of the same cast of characters down in Florida who, again, got to give them the shout out, Will Steakin has been reporting on relentlessly and what he has you know, documented is this sort of widening probe that sources have told him. Again, the committee has reached out, sources have said, to the woman who was the minor at the time to question her. And uh, there's also reporting that uh, the associate of Matt Gates, Joel Greenberg, who is now in prison for a number of charges, including sex trafficking, is also cooperating with the investigation. So bit by bit, we are learning that because of this civil uh, litigation that's going on in Florida, the House Ethics Committee going on on Capitol Hill, again, the probes starting back up with Matt Gates today, again, being subpoenaed as part of that and potentially having to go under oath, Kira.